Okay, Kevin McHugh, um, big week ahead, uh, week ahead for the under 14s and the under 15s. Uh, tell us all about it, both in a double header in, in Athlone this weekend. Yeah, big, big, uh, big, big weekend coming up for the academy. Um, the, both squads in particular, all the squads have done uh, very well this year, but in particular the 14s and 15s have had a really, really good season. From 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 like the 14s, it's the first year at national league, um, and the 15s always been there a few years, but huge week for the academy. This is just like a, a bonus for us at this stage. Um, like, a couple of weeks ago, we were like, if we got one of the, the boys through the semi finals, it would be brilliant for the club. But we just generally didn't expect, and personally, I didn't expect the two teams to go to the finals. But that shows you, it shows you how far we've come as an academy, and that's what the academy is all about. And we've people representing these teams from every every corner of the, the county. And it's not a Balbo Fay club anymore, it's a county wide club. And that's something that's really, really obvious when you see. The, the players and where they're from and even the coaches where they're from so um, really, really really big weekend Dermot and we're, we're really looking forward to it you know and and it's just rewards for all the effort that has been put in behind the scenes Kevin because I mean you were mentioning there when we were, when we were chatting in the press conference there's best part of 160 young players playing now underage with Van Harps right across the different age groups so you can only imagine the amount of work that goes on there organising that the training the volunteers the coaches yeah, absolutely. Uh, I know the coaches will get credit and the players, everybody gets credit for the e sound, but that that's, that just uh, doesn't happen automatically. Um, you have John and Ashley in the office, you have, you have James, our, our chairman of the academy. We have so many people that keeps the whole show on the road and it takes a huge amount of effort and time and money to finance all these squads, they travel up and down the country. Um, but the rewards are great for these boys because years ago when we played, uh, like the interleague teams, you you may have been travelling to Dublin maybe once a year, or maybe you, you played a Cork team once a year. They, they, with the national leagues, you're playing Dublin teams, Galway. You're playing really top academies from all around the country, uh, and the boys are not faced with that anymore. Uh, and that's why you're able to get out and compete with the likes of Cork and Shamrock Rovers and Bowes, and that can only only benefit the players going forward. So, I would like to think there's a huge amount of work goes in, but it's, uh, it is really really worth it when you see the players growing and progressing. Uh, development from April this year the whole way through it's been it's been really good to watch you know and, and you're in charge of the under 14s Kevin you guys play Wexford in the decider and Eamon's under 15s play Cork City two difficult games but the fact that Harps are the only club to have two sides in this weekend's finals mm -hmm. says it all doesn't it it does yeah um, and again come here, the, boy, the boys know they're up against two, two quality sides but it'll not phase them and uh, we've been preaching them all week just go and enjoy the process enjoy the week um, go and just go and um, show what, what what you're all about, what you've learned, how far you've progressed. Go and show people. Both games have been streamed live, which is which is credit to the FBI and, and what they're trying to do and promote the national leagues and the whole EA Sports Cup. So it's a big weekend for for the the players and the family, and we just hope that they they go and they do themselves justice, regardless of the result. We we just want them to go out and perform, you know. And, and it brings an end to a season as well, Kevin, where we've had. You know the various restrictions in place because of COVID over what over the last eighteen months or so. So you can only imagine as well how difficult that has been for for the club, for the coaches, and for the young players to have to deal with with all these you know lockdown restrictions and and all that goes with it. Yeah, uh, really really good point. Um, the boys have been doing Zoom calls the whole way since last year, since day one, and um, since soon as we had lockdown, we we were on Zoom calls and uh, and Zoom classes. Um, so. Has that got something to do with uh, why we're we're at the business end of the season and, and teams have got to the semi-finals of leagues and finals of uh, cups this weekend? It, it probably has. I'd like to think it has, and um, because obviously the more effort you put in an inning in life, um, the more the more rewards you get. So, um, it's been a difficult year, difficult year for everybody. But we, I would like to thank the people that have kept the whole thing on the road. I'd like to thank the senior management um, of the board as well for for funding all this and, and helping keep everything going. So. Uh, it's a big effort for the club, but again, I, I would like to stress that it's, it's just not Finnair Football Club anymore. We're we're completely county wide, and and I think that's brilliant to see, and it's brilliant. And obviously, I want to acknowledge huge amount of effort was on at all the clubs around the county, and um, because without those clubs developing their players, they wouldn't they would never get to this level. And we have, we have, we have our two captains in there chatting at the minute, and they, they, they this is a huge experience for them. But they wouldn't have got that uh, opportunity to come in here if. Their clubs haven't done the work that they've done. They're progressing this far. So, huge thanks to all the clubs in Donegal as well. Okay. Well, well done and good luck this weekend, Kevin. Okay. Thank you, Janet. Okay.